Now I can open up a terminal here and I actually have it where I want my application to go uh, and you may not so make sure that you are in the folder where you want to build this Flutter application. Uh, and one easy way to do that on a Mac is to navigate in Finder to the folder and right click on the folder, go to Services and do New Terminal at Folder. And that'll start a new terminal instance right in that folder that you want to build your Flutter app in. Windows, same thing. You want to use Explorer to navigate to your file or your folder. Uh, but you also want to hold down the Shift key while you right click. And then you'll have an option for Open Command Window here. And you will have a command window in your desired folder. All right, so once you've got that worked out, we can type Flutter create and then the name of your application now standard flutter or dart convention is to link words with an underscore so i'm going to do first underscore flutter underscore app now this is going to run it's going to say all done that's a lie it takes a few more seconds before you actually get use of your terminal again and that's how you know it's really done all right once that's done you can cd into your app with cd space first flutter app with underscores in between that gets you into the folder and if you installed Visual Studio Code in your path, which was an option. It was one of those checkboxes when you install Visual Studio Code. You can just do code, period, and that will open up a Visual Studio Code instance with your project preloaded. If not, no problem. You just open up Visual Studio Code. You can go to Open Folder from the start or go to File, Open, navigate to that folder, open it, and you will be right where we are now. So real quick, and I don't want you to worry about any of this, but just very quickly touring through the different folders that were generated. Uh, first of all, there's a couple up top, which you may or may not see depending on your settings because they are hidden folders. And we're just not going to pay any attention to those because they really don't matter uh, in the scheme of our Flutter application. The first one that we will eventually be concerned with is the Android folder. And this is where the configuration files for your Android application live. So we're going to write in Dart, but Flutter is going to compile an Android application and it's going to compile an iOS application when we want to run it. And these folders are the basic uh, configuration folders for those different apps. And these folders control both of those environments. So we've got Android here, we've got iOS here. The, I'm going to skip the lib folder and then go down here to the test folder. So you have the ability in Flutter or in Dart to write tests for your widgets. Uh, we're not going to worry about that in this course, but uh, there are some examples of how you could test your widgets with automated testing. But again, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to spend a lot of time in this lib folder because this is where you build your Flutter application. And when you first start out, there is just one file, which is the main.dart file. And you see right up here at the top, this is that entry point main function that I was talking about. This starts the whole kit and caboodle. We, the application boots up, it finds main, it runs the app, and everything goes from that point. This is the starting point. This down here, this class my app, this is the app. So this is this part here in the diagram. There's lots of comments in this one. You can read them if you want. You certainly don't have to stress about what is on this page. Uh, it is simply meant to be a demo and a lot of this is not the best way to construct a long-term app. After that, they have the home page class, which is this part here and this is a state full widget because they're doing some modification of the UI on the screen so it gets complicated from there so I'm not going to worry about the rest of this but we can see that the main building blocks are here we've got the main function we've got the app right here material app and then we have got a home page right there 
If you would like to run this, we can certainly do that on the screen. We need an emulator running, so I'm going to open up Android Studio. If you have your Android Studio configured so it comes to this landing screen, you can go to Configure. You can go to AVD Manager from here. Holy cow, that's big. And you can launch any one of your virtual devices from here. If you don't, and it just happens to jump to the last project that you had, that's, a, that's an internal setting, so Android Studio will do one or the other based on your settings. Then you can come up here where we created our AVD earlier and go ahead and boot up an emulator. I'm going to give that a minute to get booted up and then I'll come right back. Okay, so that's all booted up. So I am going to go ahead and close Android Studio at this point. And I am going to run this Flutter application. So this is the demo app. It's all set to go. I just need to right click on main and start debugging. And this can take a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on uh, the speed of your computer. It does take a little while to run the first time. And so I'm going to pause that and come back when it's running. So there is the basic demo app you get every time you create a Flutter application. Just this one page that increments every time you hit the plus sign. So if you want to create another project and take a look at this later, that's uh, something you can do on your own time. For the purposes of this app, what I would like to do is destroy this, and we're going to build our own app from scratch. So take a leap of faith with me and start all the way at the top of this main.dart. Highlight everything down below, delete it, hit save, and watch it all break. So there's no turning back now, and the next section we are going to revisit this diagram. We are going to build the main function in Dart to get us started with rebuilding this app so we can get rid of this red screen of errors and get ourselves back to some kind of functioning application.